Hi boys and girls, we've been learning about feelings in school family time. Let's see what Lou is up to. Do you remember how to check in with your body to see if you're calm? I do. I put my hands on my tummy and I say, stop. That's all right. And the next thing you get to do is, yo, help, help, oh no, help. What's wrong, Lily? What happened? I was playing outside with the fence and a great big dog ran up to the fence and he barked really, really loud and it was scary. Oh, having a big dog run at you does and bark. It sounds very scary. Oh, it sounds like you're having a strong feeling. Hmm, what could Lily do? She could start to calm down by putting her hands on her tummy. Put your hands on your tummy and say stop. Ooh, that's right, Lou. It'll help her calm down. And when you're having a strong and comfortable feeling in your body, you want to tell it to stop. Here we go. Stop. Ooh, Lily, the next thing you could do is you could name your feeling. So when, you, when you're trying to calm down, if you put your hands on your tummy and you say stop, and then you can identify that feeling and name it, that's going to help too. Ready? Stop. I feel scared. Ooh, I feel a little better. It's great. Doing these things is going to help you feel better and help you calm down, boys and girls. Let's all put our hands on our feelings and let's practice. Let's practice scared. Ready? Stop. I feel scared. Let's practice frustrated. Here we go. Ah, stop. I feel frustrated. Oh, let's try mad. Ready? Stop. I feel mad. You can keep playing and keep practicing because practicing helps your body know what to do in when you do have those great big feelings. Well, bye Lou. Bye Lily. Thanks for coming and playing with us today. Until next time, boys and girls. See you later.